Leo gang, what is up guys? Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome back to the channel if you're returning. What is up squad? If you're new here, hello, my name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. All right guys, so uh, Spirit put it on my heart to uh, talk to my fellow Leos today. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and we're gonna get a message here for you for the month of December, 2023. But also keep in mind that this still could be quite timeless. All right, but um, this, I am feeling, you know, that we, I wanna get some messages. I'm feeling inspired to get some messages for you for the month of December, moving into December. So we're gonna do that. Now, I do have a little bit of a channeled message so far. Um, as I was feeling into this energy while I was meditating this morning, you know, spirit came through and was saying, let's read for Rio, Leo today. Okay, great. And the main message behind this is the sun is rising for you. Um, and it took me a little bit of time to really figure out what that actually meant. We're gonna definitely get into it. We're gonna get deeper into it. But right now it feels like um, you may be coming out of some sort of dark period um, in which your light may have dimmed or you may have, something has caused you to dim your light or dim your shine in a way. And that seems to be changing. You're rising out of this at this time. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. This is gonna be for my Leos, sun, moon, rising, and uh, north node and venus potentially this really isn't meant to be a love reading um but hey take it as it resonates yeah sun moon rising venus and north node yeah messages for my leos for the month of december 2023 the sun is rising for you so what's going on for leo what messages do you have for leo at this time spirit thank you so much for bringing us together thank you so much for giving us this time together and this time with you please show us what you want us to know right now Ooh. okay for Leo, for Leo. The cards are flipping out, but they're not really coming out. Okay, we'll leave it there. Aha, okay. So the first card that came out for you, Leo, is breathe. All right, um, please <laughs> bear with me. I'm, I've oriented my camera a little bit differently this time, so I'm kind of trying to get used to it. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, first card that came out is breathe. All right, um, just breathe. I mean, that might, this may be cliche, um, but what I'm getting with this energy, Leo, is um, you're finding the time to breathe. You're giving yourself a chance to breathe. Um, you may really be you may really be stressed out, or may have really been stressed out lately. Um, and either you are being guided to maybe pick up some breathwork practices to help ease your um, emotions, ease calm your mind, ease some sort of anxiety you may be going through. Or you may have already picked this up, picked up these um, methods of trying to calm your mind down, cool your senses a little bit. And that's really been working for you, okay? Now the next card that came out, it did come, fall out onto my lap. Um, it is shadow, all right? So there you go. Energies of darkness, okay? And remember, the main message in the beginning of this is the sun is rising for you, all right? So you're coming out of some sort of dark, shadowy period, all right? That's definitely um, that's de definitely apparent at this time. Next card you have, be present. You have completion. This is good. I like this a lot, Leo. And then you have value, okay? You're really learning to honor the value within yourself. And that really could be why the sun is rising for you at this time. So either you are being guided to, you're being asked to, I'm also hearing you're being challenged to really seek the, the, the value within yourself. Really tr start to honor the value within yourself. And that's going to help you get out of this dark, shadowy period. Or you have already done that. You have already found ways to do that. The challenges that you've been through have really pushed you, have really influenced you to see the value within yourself rather than always playing to the value of others. Ooh, okay. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, you do have be spontaneous. This is cute. All right, this is definitely giving me energies of connecting with your inner child. And um, Leo, you are definitely the sign of the inner child, okay? Um, you are, you rule the fifth house in astrology and the, and the fifth house is all about children, is all about the inner child, is all about being spontaneous, having fun, having a good time, honoring yourself and expressing yourself fully. Um, 
so the, the challenges that you guys may be dealing with or the root of some of the challenges that you've been dealing with over this time that you are now overcoming could very well have stemmed from your childhood okay so <clears throat> excuse me um when we think about it w working through the wheel of the zodiac right or the, at least the houses of the zodiac you start with one that is ruled by aries that is the individual that is the i that is the self and as you move through you know, you start to develop that sense of self and you start to develop what it is you like and what you don't like, what it is you want and what you don't want. You start to learn to communicate with others. But once you reach the fourth house, that is the house of the home and family and also the mother. And it's also the house of how you, what you experienced as a child. And ideally that is supposed to be a safe space. The fourth house is ruled by cancer. That is supposed to be a safe space technically in which you are able, you are lovingly encouraged to, to, to be yourself, right? That is the cocoon we'll say in which you gain the confidence, the love, the support, the care that allows you to really dip, start to really be yourself. And then by the time you reach the fifth house, which is, again, ruled by you, Leo. This is where you start to express your true and honest self. And ideally, you are expressing this true and honest part of yourself because you had that really loving, nurturing, and caring home and stable family life as you were growing up that allowed you to be confident in that form of, in that self. And it gave you the foundation to really feel confident in expressing yourself fully as you truly are. But this is an ideal, right? This may not have necessarily happened. So I say all that to say, to bring to your attention that this very well could stem from some issues you had as a child growing up. Whether this was, you know, with friends, like in school, or whether this was just family, or maybe a combination of both, okay? There was a lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-esteem that uh, you developed into that you now seem to be rising out of, rising from the depths of, um, very much a phoenix from the ashes risen type of energy. Excuse me, I just had breakfast. Um, <laughs> so, but also this is why the sun is rising for you at this time or how the sun could be rising for you at this time really connecting with your inner child and really working on healing those aspects and really working on reparenting yourself i know um i'm a fellow leo and uh, uh over the last few years i've really been working on reparenting myself and developing a better relationship with my inner child and really helping my inner child heal and grow from a lot of the trauma that he experienced. Um, so either you are in this place of reparenting yourself right now or you're being guided or led into a phase in which you are able to really heal a lot of those inner child woundings that you've dealt with and that you have been dealing with, that you are dealing with in order to get the sun to rise for you proverbially again, yes, or figuratively speaking, right? Sorry, I had to pause for a second. Okay, but while we do have completion here, I really love this, okay? You are completing a tough cycle is what I'm hearing, all right? And you're really being guided to really be as present as possible as you can during this time because that presence, that sense of awareness is really what's going to help kickstart your healing journey here, okay? This is not something that you really wanna try and run away from or hide from any longer okay it's gonna be painful i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna sugarcoat this for you it's gonna be painful okay there are gonna be a lot of painful memories of toxic situations that are gonna be coming up but you need to face them in order to heal them you need to become aware of them in order to be able to heal them and so when in that that's telling me that there may have been there may be some things that you have forgotten about or that you have just buried in your subconscious because it was too painful of a, mer a memory to deal with at that time that you buried it. But now the time is coming, the sun is rising, okay? So now the time is coming for you to really heal this relationship with yourself, to really allow yourself to see the damage that has been done so that you can be aware of it, so that you can take the steps to fix and heal it. All right? All right, let's get into some tarot about this hmm okay i just pulled this card out of my quick draw oh this deck out of my quick draw and you do have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck here fourth house energies um celebration okay 
something to celebrate, something to be celebrated. Either you are in this moment already or you're coming up to a time period where you're really going to be able to celebrate yourself. But that takes you doing the work to clear out the cobwebs. Mm, I just split the deck to the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is about, in this case at least, yeah, and then Be Present wanted to come up with it. And in this case, at least, the Five of Wands does re represent internal conflict for you, all right? Ways that you may have been um, uh, fighting yourself on a lot of the things that you've been going through, okay? That shadow, there's that shadow energy, right? All right, let's get into this. What messages do you have for Leo? Oh, the other thing that I want to say about the sun. Now, also, you are ruled by the sun, okay, Leo? So this is a very important message for you. This is a very important time period for you. But And the sun, especially in the tarot, the sun is the most beautiful card in the deck, and it is the most optimistic card in the deck. No matter what happens, no matter what else, any other sort of negative energies may be around in the situation, when the sun comes out, Along with that, it trumps everything, okay? So the sun represents good tidings. It represents peace, happiness, tranquility, illumination. Now, even though the sun is a really beautiful energy, it also is an illuminator and it still can burn you. And what I like to say, what I've said for years now is that no matter what the sun, even if the sun burns you, it's one of the best burns you could ever have or it's one of the best things that could happen to you because that burn or the, illu the, the, the illumination that created that burn is helping you see something that needs to be changed or needs to be healed. Again, you cannot change anything unless you're aware of it. And the sun makes you aware of it, <laughs> okay? Two more shuffles, that's one. Show me Leo, what's going on for Leo at this time? Nine of swords, yeah. Nine of swords, but then the six of swords, okay? You're moving away from fear, you're moving away from anxiety, you're moving away from anything or at least you have the potential to move away from anything that keeps you down, Leo, all right? That dims your shine, okay? Show me, Leo, what are the messages do we have for Leo at this time? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, that's enough. Okay, let's start here. Okay, we have the eight of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the king of wands, there you are, and then the king of swords. I'm hearing Gemini with this king of swords, um, but really this king of swords could be any air sign. You may have a Gemini placement. Um, also, you may have an air sign placement. Technically, the king of swords does represent Aquarius, but I did hear Gemini, all right? So either there has been a Gemini in your life that's been playing a large role in whatever it is you're going through, how it is you may have been dimming your shine, or you have a Gemini placement, okay? But that's not for everybody, take it as it resonates. Um, and then overall, wow, Leo, overall energy is the Ace of Swords. This is really excellent. So, now also, oh my God. Ah! I just put the deck down um, and my hand hit some of the cards away. You had, and it took the, two, the top two cards off the bottom of the deck. It is the Ace of Swords to the High Priestess, but then under the High Priestess is the Sun. There it is right there, Leo. The sun is rising for you, okay? And you, and the reason why the sun is rising for you in this way, I mean, the sun rises and sets anyway. You know, nobody, nobody controls the sun. The sun does its own thing, right? But the reason why the sun is rising for you in this moment is because you are adamantly, either you have been, you are, or you're going to be, you're being guided to really do the work to reconstruct yourself to rebuild yourself self-healing okay you have the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles the three of pentacles can represent teamwork but it also you know on a personal sense uh, in a personal way it represents um self-mastery okay <coughs> excuse me getting over a little bit of a chest thing here all right and then you and so this is really why the sun is rising for you in this way it may make a lot of people jealous. I'm not gonna lie. It may, it may make people jealous, especially those who have been trying to keep you down, that have been trying to dim your shine. Because ultimately, you shining at your brightest and your more, most brilliant, most, most brilliance is intimidating to other people. I mean, Leos are, a, a, real, a real confident Leo might be a problem to a lot of other people who don't share that same level of confidence. And you know what, Leo, that's really none of your problem. It's not your problem at all. And quite frankly, it's none of your business because like, honey, you don't need to be worrying about that. That's their problem. 
okay? But what I'm feeling here, Leo, for you is that you have been allowing other people's opinions to be your problem. The sun doesn't dim its shine for nobody. And if you can't take the light of the sun, then you might wanna go find some shade, honey, because you're about to get your ass burnt. And it's not even the sun's fault. It's not even like the it's not even like the sun is out here trying to burn people. The sun is what it is. And if you can't take the heat, then get the fuck out the kitchen, right? Mm. Mm. Damn, Leo. So you have the Ace of Swords. This is overall energy at the bottom of the deck. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the High Priestess. All right. You're really being intuitively guided at this time. Your intuition may be heightened at this time. It's so crazy, but one of the most intuitive or maybe damn near you can say psychic signs in the on the whole wheel of the zodiac is leo and many people don't realize that but leos tend to be the most naturally just intuitive psychic of all of us right you can i mean you could argue that a water sign would be more but still stands as leo is a pretty strong intuitive individual so you your intuition is really heightened at this time and if that's not the case for you, if you're not necessarily feeling like that, then you are being guided to really tune into, tap into the power of your intuition because honey, it is strong. It is much stronger than you think, okay? Underneath the high priestess is the sun, like we said, then to the nine of cups and to the tower, all right? Now, um, Collectively speaking, outside of just the realm of Leo, we have been talking about this Nine of Cups energy for a, a long time, all right? And the Nine of Cups has been talking about, uh, has been representing a level of a comfort zone for people. And we've been talking about, if you've been following me on the channel here, especially on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations, check us out over there. Um, there has been an energy of wanting to move out of the nine of cups some level of comfort zone and into the nine of pentacles okay independence standing strong on your own but being ready to receive that last pentacle to reach the ten of pentacles um for you leo this is someone else's comfort zone not yours dimming your shine has allowed others to remain in some level of a comfort zone and that's just not purely just not going to happen any longer. And the thing about it is, Leo, you don't even have to be in these people's lives any longer. If it's really that much of a, if it's really that big of a deal, then we'll just go elsewhere. We can go shine our light somewhere else, right? I, I want to caution because spirit is kind of cautioning me too. I don't. I want to caution you guys to not allow your ego to get too inflated in that. Okay. Um, don't take it personally either is what I'm hearing. All right, just move forward. Okay, now underneath this tower energy, you do have the Knight of Swords to the devil. Okay. Leo, I swear, I swear, we cannot make this up. We're still just looking at the bottom of the deck. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay, you have the devil. And then, gotta make sure I cover that up. Okay, you've got the devil here, but then underneath the devil, there's the Knight Nine of Pentacles. To strength there you are again leo okay there's that nine of pentacles energy dimming your shine has kept you away from a certain level of abundance is what i'm hearing all right and what i'm seeing in strength here for you <clears throat> is not necessarily about taming the lion within it's really more about loving the lion within loving who you truly are because what i'm seeing in the in the well this is the empress here right but what I'm seeing in strength for you, in spe specifically for this reading, for this message, Leo, this is not her trying to tame that lion. This is her loving on that lion, giving that lion the love, the respect, the care that it needs just for being its individual self, loving that lion for who they truly are. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. This is really, really good energy for you, Leo. I mean, really fighting a back really fighting back against the devil, against those that want to keep you chained, want to keep you grounded. But I'm, I'm picking up on being grounded in like a toxic sense, you know, being too grounded, being like overly grounded, not allowing yourself to fly, okay? You're really releasing yourself from this at this time, and it's really quite beautiful. All right, now back to the cards that have actually come out here. You have the Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. Again, this is doing the hard and diligent work 
on mastering yourself. Also rebuilding yourself. For some of you, this is a career change that is happening or is going to happen, is bound to happen because of it. Because you're going to be getting into that proper alignment for yourself that's gonna put you where it is you need to be, where it is you're destined to be, where it is you're destined to go, okay? But, uh, but understand that ultimately, that comes from you working on yourself, from doing this, from, from achieving this level or working towards this level of self, greater self mastery, okay? And then you also have the King of Wands to the King of Swords. Now, like I said, when I first saw the King of Swords, I did hear Gemini, okay? This either could be a Gemini placement or it could be someone in your life that has a Gemini placement. And I feel like if that's the case, if this is another person, Leo, that has that Gemini placement, this is someone that's been standing in opposition towards you. But, you're, but if you look, the King of Wands isn't even looking at that King of Swords energy, okay? So if, that, if this part of the message resonates with you, then this is a situation in which you're not even listening to that Gemini any longer or that, that Gemini's influence, okay? For, for, now, for the greater collective, the King of Wands and the King of Swords represents, it, uh, it reflects this Ace of Swords energy here, okay? The King of Wands is you standing in your confidence, in your power. Again, the King of Wands technically represents Leo, but of course, any of the court cards could represent any of the signs of their element. So for this would be Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? You may have any of those placements also, but it doesn't really matter. We're talking to Leo right now. This is you. But this is also you. See, now they're facing each other. Aha! Well, the King of Wands is facing the King of Swords. Um, and that, if, if this is you, then this is the case. Because you're standing in your power, you're standing in your authority, you're standing in your confidence, and you're not allowing anyone to really set you back any longer. You're being objective here. You're looking at the situation objectively and you're saying, no, I know what the truth is. I know who I am. I also know what my intuition is telling me, okay? There may be some form of communication. There may be some, for, some um, conversations you are needing to have. But also keep in mind that the King of Wands and the King of Swords go very well together. Why? Because they're fire and air. And what fuels fire? Oxygen. So there you go. <coughs> there you go, Leo. I want to look more into this King of Swords, King of Wands energy. Show me more about the King of Swords, King of Wands for Leo, please. Woo! I mean, Leo, you cannot make this up. Ooh, now we have the moon. Mm, the moon is overall energy at the bottom of the deck. But this is that shadow energy that you've been in. Okay? The moon is setting. You're coming out of a dark period and the sun is rising for you, all right? Clarifying this, okay, that was the overall energy here. Yeah, see, let me continue here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon to the five of pentacles to the nine of wands. This is that shadow period. This is that energy of you having dimmed your shine. This is that energy of you not feeling worthy. You're not feeling good enough. This is that energy of individuals, circumstances, whatnot, whatever, that have only helped to lead you to feel like you're not good enough. But that was never the case, Leo. That was never the, I'm gonna get emotional. That was never the case, Leo. But you're putting up your defenses against that. Seven of Wands and you're loving yourself, Page of Cups. Now, what has come out here to clarify this King of Swords, King of Wands for you? It's Death and the Hermit. Soul searching. Okay, again, I wanna say two, three, four, five on the counter. I wanna say you are either in this right now, in this hermit energy right now, self-discovery, loving yourself, healing yourself, maybe very much in a solitary energy, or you're coming out of this, right? You've been in this for a long time and now this is confirmation, this reading, this message is confirmation for you that you are successfully coming out of this. You are successfully transforming out of this or you're about to get into this or this is the guidance for you. You've been looking for answers. You've been saying to the universe, what do I do? Here is your answer, okay? But the King of Swords, King of Wands, all right? Clarity, King of Swords. Objectivity, King of Swords. Communication, King of Swords. Power, authority, confidence, King of Wands. Power and authority also comes with the King of Swords too. Any of the kings, really, all right? You're stepping into your king energy. 
you're being honest with yourself about yourself and you're also being honest with others but you're also standing in your confidence you're not going to allow your shine to dim any longer you're not going to allow yourself to not go for the things that you want to go for any longer and how do you get to this place by working on yourself three of pentacles eight of pentacles the hermit and death okay the hermit it represents this energy of seeking soul searching all right doing that really inner that inner soul work and transforming out of it death and rebirth you are transforming into a greater version of yourself than you have ever been and now is your time to shine leo the sun is rising for you because you are doing this work no one else can do it for you and i really think many of you who are already in this energy or maybe even maybe coming out of this energy you understand that at this point uh, some of your lack of confidence issues may have made you, may have left you extremely codependent however that looks for you emotionally mentally financially whatever okay that would be that devil energy as well and these are and if there are individuals who have really helped put you in this position they wanted to keep you in that codependent energy why because they didn't have a light they didn't have their light shining their light was dimmed also so it's as if they were stealing or trying to take your light from you or use your light to illuminate their lives while leaving you depleted mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. i mean we we are all of our lives are illuminated by the sun but we don't control the sun yes we harness energy from the sun but the sun is out there doing its own thing and if you don't like it quite frankly honey that's your problem i mean the sun's not going to stop shining because you don't like it right because you are too fair-skinned and i don't i don't mean any offense by this but you're too fair-skinned to handle the light of the sun okay go find some shade go put on some sunscreen go get yourself an umbrella but that doesn't mean the sun stops shining for you right well there you go so i say all that to say leo if there are these people around you that have been siphoning your energy from you i mean they can still get some energy that if they want to but you're going to be off on your own doing your own thing shining your light authentically and brilliantly if they want to charge their batteries for it honey go ahead that's what i'm here for i'm the sun but you're not going to stop me from shining because you don't like it period let's look at this three of pentacles eight of pentacles here show me the three of pentacles eight of pentacles for leo for this message please Woo! <laughs> yes we are back to the tower and we have the we have strength has come back out and with it's come out with the knight of pentacles and we also have the page of wands slow and steady wins the race i'm also hearing a slow and arduous process but i feel like the knight of pentacles represents that slow and arduous process that has led you to this moment to this point in life where now you can start to really love yourself sorry i want these to really love yourself and then change the way you, you show up in the world, the Page of Wands, having a new message, a new life, a new lease on life, okay? The Page of Wands is not bad. Yes, it is the most, uh, uh, the, the most immature of the fire sign court cards, but also the Page of Wands represents the inner child or can represent the inner child, a childlike nature. The Page of Wands also represents an individual who is sizing themselves up or discovering rediscovering or learning about their power you see how the page is inspecting that wand he's like hmm <clears throat> hmm what can i do with this energy what is this energy even wow there's a sense of wonderment here you're really rediscovering yourself at this time leo and this is really beautiful and then you have the tower at the bottom of the deck the tower to the nine of cups and then back to the sun now for some of you i am picking up on now you are rediscovering a level of a comfort zone with this nine of cups but this is being confident and comfortable within yourself cozy right if you will if you want to take a take a take a page from the book of renaissance by queen beyonce yes you're cozy comfortable in my skin cozy with who i am i love myself goddamn i'm cozy <laughs> cozy and that creates a tower moment for people why because they can't touch you anymore 
They can't stop you. They can't dim your shine anymore, Leo. Why? Because you are shining from within now, or you're going to be. And that is an eternal place of power. This is the transformation you're going through. Becoming your true and authentic self. Period. End of story. I want to get some closing... <coughs> Excuse me. I want to get some closing messages from you. Uh, so my throat is kind of getting scratchy. Some, of, some people may be trying to silence you even. Excuse me. Let me handle that for a second. Yeah, and this makes sense. Like, honestly, I am, I am kind of getting over a little bit of a chest chest cold. Um, but what just came through for me in that is I am speaking from an authentic place, right? I'm really using my voice. I'm using my power to relay, to channel this message and relay it to you. And that's kicking up some crap. That's all up in my chest and in my throat. That's what's about to happen for you, Leo, if you're not already there. All right. So get this shit out. Okay, because it's gross. It doesn't need to be in there anyway. It's gross. Get it out of there, honey. Ugh, it's disgusting. <laughs> All right, closing messages. I do want to get messages from our, our brothers and sisters in the unicorns. Sing it with me. Comfortable in my skin. Cozy with who I am. Say it. I love myself. Goddamn, I'm cozy. <laughs> Cozy. Yes. One more shuffle for you, Leo. All right. Closing messages from my Leo brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. One more. That's it. Ooh, 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 Leo. Look at this. First, first card you have is dance. Go on, shake a tail feather. Shake that ass. Go on, twerk it. Now, see, now I want to, now, uh, <laughs> now I'm hearing church girl. I'll drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. I said, now drop it like a thotty, pop it like a thotty. Go ahead, now drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. Bad girls acting loose, church girls acting naughty, whatever. I didn't say the, the words right there, but there you go. Dance, Leo. All right. And this is speaking to that energy of be spontaneous. Okay. And be present. All right. Allow yourself to dance, move your body, dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. She ain't trying to hurt nobody. She just trying to do the best she can, right? I'm gonna stop singing now. No, don't ever stop singing. Don't ever stop singing, Leo. <laughs> don't ever stop dancing either. This is also speaking to the inner child, all right? Allow yourself to dance. Allow yourself to have fun and have a good time. And then the next card you have here, Leo, being that big sun energy that you are, leadership, right? Step into your leadership. Share your message, inspire and empower others. The sun empowers, each, empowers us each and every day. The sun provides us with the energy that the earth needs to grow and expand and to have all these beautiful plants and animals and us as humans, right? So step into your leadership. Allow yourself to shine. Don't dim your shine any longer. All right? <laughs> Hope wants to show itself. Okay. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. All right? Look, you do have completion here. You do have completion here, Leo. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. Maybe touch some grass. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Closing, closing, closing. Final closing message is coming from the crystal mandala. Yeah? Here we go. Closing messages for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Especially, especially if you are a Leo North Node. This is a very important message for you, all right? All right, let's see. Closing messages for my Leos. Oh my God. You guys, you can't make this stuff up. This is all about reconnecting with your inner child, all right? Doing that inner child healing, reparenting yourself. You have card number seven, Angel Kaliel and Polychrome Jasper. <coughs> Clear that shit out of there, Leo. Sacred play. There it is again. 
play, dance, have fun, be spontaneous, do what it is you naturally do. Alana Fair, child, child, your inner child. Okay. Shout out to Alana Fair, child, by the way, for creating this beautiful deck. I've used this deck for years. All right. We bring you the gift of sacred play. We enter your heart, bringing joy and an ability to have fun, to laugh, to see the silly and playful side of life, and to be entertained by the wonderful spectacle of life. When you know how to look, you will see the joyful hand of the creator behind so many of the people, places, and things you see every day. You will begin to feel the creator's delight in creation, and you will feel laughter deep in your soul, a joyful connection with the universe, as you realize that even in its strange and sometimes dark mystery, life has a brightness and a delight to it, a sense of humor and a quirky, amusing, enjoyable beauty. We know there is great joy inside you, and we will help you reconnect with that joy now, so even your most arduous challenges will not diminish your capacity to feel the light of your spirit and take delight in your life. So there you have it, Leo. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I truly hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes, I just want to say last message before I go. Um, I do focus most of my time, attention, energy, and effort over on Patreon at this time. So if you want to get more regular readings with me, maybe even a potentially a personal reading because I am prior to prioritizing the Patreon collective for personal readings. But if you would like to get more regular readings from me, join the collective a little bit more, get maybe a potential reading from me, a personal reading from me, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. I love you so very much, Leo, and I hope you have a fantastic month. And I really look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes. Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>